Hello all traders. Today is Tuesday, 22nd of October 2024 and we're going to look at the trade that we're going to take on Nasdaq, Dow Jones and S&P 500 futures if we see low risk opportunities. If we look at the one hour micro chart, we see that the price during the global session started to go down and started to recover during the London session pre-market. And if we look at the 10 minute micro chart, we see that after New York market opening, the price has started to go up on NASDAQ and S&P 500 and was going down on Dow Jones. So our plan of action for today is to take long positions if this uptrend channel continues to go up and if it reached this level of resistance and past that level and we have a continuation of uptrend, we take long position. But if the price gets rejected at the resistance level and we have a downtrend channel, we take sell short positions. So stay tuned and we're going to update you with any trades that we're going to take today. So we're back and waited for the price to reach the previous level of resistance. And we see that the rejections happened. So we entered one sell short position with setup B on NASDAQ and waiting for the sellers to push the price lower. If we don't see a strong selling pressure, we close it manually at this point to take a small profit. And since the uptrend is still valid and we see that the buyers are still are strong, so we're going to take one long position in the middle of the channel and close it with a small profit. And we did that on NASDAQ and S&P 500. The price is now very choppy and has no direction. We need a deeper pullback to enter long position. So we're going to come back when we have a deeper pullback to enter long positions. Now we're back and we had a deep pullback and we're entering several long positions on NASDAQ in the lower part of channel. We set up C and close it in the middle and upper area of channel. We have also limit orders on Dow Jones and S&P 500. So we're going to come back again when we have a deeper pullback. We're back now and we had a good deep pullback. And that's the area we can enter with setup B. So we enter long positions here on NASDAQ and close it for a quicker scalp. And again, sell short position on the upper area of channel and close it in the middle of channel for quicker scalp. Now that the buyers are getting strong, now we're waiting for opportunity to have a deeper pullback and enter long positions. Now we got several long positions filled and we close it in the upper area of channel with profit. Now that the price broke this level and the well-established uptrend is happening, we're taking every pullback with setup T repeatedly on NASDAQ. If we don't see deep pullback, we enter in the middle of channel or we break out. We're waiting for another deeper pullback that the price touched the lower area of the channel. It happens on NASDAQ and we have one long positions filled waiting to see if other positions get filled or the buyers push the price higher and we reach the target. We're adjusting the target now and waiting for the price to go higher. or fill or other position. We just closed this second position also with profit. So we're done for the day. And let's have a look at the stats of these trades. So all the signals were copied by copy trader to multiple Apex trader funding accounts. And you see performance on one of these accounts that shows it was positive, providing a profit factor of 4.49 which is coming from 80% win rate, 71% from the long, and 100% from the sell short positions. The average win to loss ratio was 1. The largest winning trade was 130, and the largest losing trade was $104. So I hope these trades taken by the PAN system for faster scalping is useful for you, and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day.